Scotland. It's where I call home. And it's great to be back. Paul and I are here for the next few episodes to take you on a tour of the north of Ireland. Please join us. coming up I'll slow down a little bit you can see the road signs are changing and the road markings are about to change we're now in the Republic welcome to County Monaghan but we're not going to be here long because the road just keeps continuing along and will then suddenly be onto the A3 again. This same road? Yeah, the same road. No. Yeah. This is one of the areas where you crisscross the border several times in the short space of time. Oh, there's a lot of people out hiking. Hiking across the border. It's not safe. Not along this road. You sort of wonder where the roads maintenance people come along to actually fix this bit. So they must have to drive into Northern Ireland and then come up here to sort the road out or anything. And I'm not even sure if there's any shops or what there are here. Um, or any towns or anything. There's a few houses. There's not really much here at all. Maybe there are farms. Yes, it's all farming area. I see some cows over there. But I don't think we're going to be that long until we actually cross back into Northern Ireland. Interesting going through all these borders in such a small space of time and crisscrossing back. Yes. We can compare road surfaces. This is a really good road. Very smooth. You can always tell that you're in the Republic because at the side of the road, you have got the yellow markings. But I think we're crossing the border again. Yep. And we're in back in County Fermanagh. So I thought it was Armagh, but that must be the next bit that we cross. So these bits are white now? Yeah. So we're now back in County Fermanagh. But again, there's going to come a point not too far away where we cross back into the Republic. <laughs> now, I said just back there that the road surfaces were quite good and smooth. Over here, 
it's bumpy, it's been dug up a few times. It has, it has had better days. Yeah, and this is an interesting point because it always used to be, like when I lived over here in the 80s and 90s, um, it was always that, oh, once you cross the border down south, the roads were full of potholes and everything. Well, it's the other way around now because, of course, the Republic has benefited from being in the European Union, as did the UK for <laughs> a while. But um, the Republic still benefits from being in the EU, so that's why its roads are better, amongst other things. signs are about to change yet again and we are crossing and we are now back in the Republic and there was a bit of bumpy road there but this is definitely smoother see it takes no time at all really strange living around here <laughs> because you don't know whether you're coming or going. County Monaghan. Welcome to County Monaghan. Again. Welcome to Clonus. We're in Clonus, Barry McGuigan's hometown. It wants me to slow down because of course we're in kilometres per hour here now. So I should be doing 50 kilometres which is 35 miles per hour. And I guess that's why it's got the slow down signs, because people crossing will sort of forget. So if you wanted to stop and spend your euros here, you could. And you know something, I am in the mood for an ice cream. So I think that we should stop off in Clonus. And here is a lovely church in front of us. Right, I've got a few euros to spend, so let's go and use them here. Okay. I've just been to the local shop to get a maxi twist and it's a strawberry and lime flavor saucy swirl. I see that you couldn't resist having an ice cream. Mm. And here I was saying that I wanted the ice cream. But the thing is here on Clonus, I asked in the shop if there was a public toilet and the guy sort of really went, <laughs> no. We have it, a problem. It's a glaring problem that they have here. So, Clonus, you need a public toilet. Clonus, the meadow of Aus, is one of the oldest continuous settlements in County Monaghan. It developed around a monastery founded by St. Tyrannach in the 6th century and the town boasts a rich historic fabric which illustrates the town's evolution. Why don't you take a little seat? Well, the focal point of any town centre in Ireland is its diamond 
or town square and church. The diamond, the name often given to marketplaces in Ulster, features several distinguished 19th century buildings. It is also the location of a national treasure, the High Cross of Clonus, which is made up of four different parts. St Tyrannach's Church of Ireland was built between 1823 and 1825. It replaced an old church which was in very poor structured condition. A date stone with 1696 carved in relief on it, now set into the boundary wall, may refer to the late 17th century church. Yeah, we're in the middle of restoration at the moment. We've just put in new windows here and uh, so that we, we still have to do a lot of painting and decorating. Uh -huh. And yet, but uh, it takes time. This is about one of the few churches in Ireland that still has box pews. Each family would have had sort of the room. Wow. Now, unfortunately, we, we couldn't fill all those seats at the minute. I think our normal Sunday services would be about 25 to 30. Normally, it could hold about 600 people. That's if you want to have a look around the rest of the grounds there. You can see for miles around. This overlooks the main square just in front of us. Packy willies? Packet willies? I think my vision must be really bad. Packy willies? Willie. And you say there's something interesting over here. Coldest, the coldest points ever? Maybe. <laughs> Follow these steps to subscribe. We've stopped off in Monaghan and it is the county town of County Monaghan and we didn't even plan to come here, in fact we didn't even plan to be in Clonus. No. Sometimes when you are on a trip, a road trip especially, you can go off your plans and off the beaten track a bit. I'm not saying this is off the beaten track but it was off our beaten track. I got the idea to go along the crisscross border road while I was sitting up late last night after editing one of our other episodes. And then I discovered, wait a minute, there's a lot to see around here in itself. We were just discussing how many counties in Ireland also have a town of the same name. Mm. How many can you name, Paul? Derry and Antrim? Yeah. Armagh? Monaghan? Ah, Eason. This is the equivalent of W.H. Smith and I just hope it's open. I am assuming that the door is round this side. And indeed it is. And again, of course, we have the diamond, the focal point of the town centre. I think this was a water fountain at some point. 
is there is the spout, I guess, where the water comes out, and then. But I think it has dried out since then. It's lunchtime for us, so we are going to stop off at the Screaming Bean Cafe. If you are crossing the street in the Republic, you have to press one of these buttons like this, don't you, Paul? I think you just... What other great sight is there to see in Monachan, Paul? There's a lot to see. There's plenty of churches. There's the war memorial. Um, there's the shopping center. Ah, shopping. That must mean one thing. Duns? Good job we bought that extra suitcase now, wasn't it? What did you end up getting? Well, I bought half the shop again. Looks like. <laughs> <laughs> 